We'd been lucky enough to win a senior grade premiership on the Saturday. Uh, and this was on the Tuesday and the players had arranged a bus. And we're waiting around and the bus was probably 15, 20 minutes late and in that time between 11 and the bus turning up, Barry walked over. And I just remember waving to the boys and I collapsed. So then I went over and I rolled him over and that's when we knew that there was some real serious issues going on here. So, and that's when the other four boys and Rob, um, we, I suppose instinct kicked in a little bit. I still remember how calm it was. Everyone was just so calm. Everyone just, you know, I, I was on the phone straight away. So are you right by him now? Right with him, yeah. Okay, so listen carefully. What we need to do is lay him flat on his back on the ground right. and right. remove any pillows. Someone else jumped on CPR, another person jumped to go get the defib. I happened to have the keys to the, where it was locked up, uh, grabbed it, brought it down. At the same time, Zach was bringing one across from the hub. Happened to get there first, so I opened it up and it was applied. The pads are on and we're just waiting. It's analysing the patient. Yes. No one should touch the face. Analyze. Analyze. So everyone stop touching him? Yeah, everyone. Good. Stop the drugs. Stop the patient. It's going to clear. Where's the flashing of orange button? Yeah. Stop the salute. You alright? Yeah, it's alright. Just wait. Don't, don't try and lift your head. Paramedics are here now. Okay, are they right there with the patient? He's, he's talking to us now. I'll never forget he was purple and then I just saw like the life come back into him basically and everyone sort of looked at each other and then he started talking to us and I was like... Couldn't remember a thing, he didn't know what was going on, he thought he... Everyone was just like, what has just happened? Oh, they saved Barry's life. Really, it took him about probably 10 minutes to completely recover, but by the time we put him in an ambulance, he knew exactly what was going on. And it was all credit to everyone that arrived before the ambulance did. The way everyone just got on with the job, and regardless of what was happening, it was a very proud moment. You know, I look back on that for the rest of my life, to, to know that I've saved someone's life and was a part of it. Look, you can't, I can't thank it enough, and it's probably etched in their mind, you know, that I'll never forget it. When you get your life saved, it's pretty amazing. And yeah, you just have that little affinity with them, I reckon.